Okay, so the first thing you want to do once you log into our system is to take a moment and go through these tutorial tabs located in the center of the screen here. Okay, it's important that you do this because our system is more than just simple videos. It's really a complete software application. So it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, get familiar with all the features, and that way you can get the full benefits of our system. All right, so here you can kind of click through the various tabs. We're looking at the How to Start tab. Then we have the other tabs here. You just simply click on them, and you can read about the various topics. But what I want to show you, just I want to give you enough information so you can get going with our system. So I want to show you the basic learning process of uh, tablet class. Okay, so we're looking at an Algebra 1 course here and what you are seeing are the chapters that make up this course. All right, so let's take a look at this first chapter, an introduction to algebra terms and concepts. So to go inside that chapter, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that blue icon right there. Okay, so if I click on that, it opens up the chapter and now you're seeing the sections that make up this chapter. All right, so we have the first section, number operations, then we have variables, order of operations, etc. And all of our courses are organized the same manner. So if we, we show you this, then you'll be kind of ready to go and actually start learning. All right, so let's open up number operations. And to learn in Tama class, it's really kind of a three-step process. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is watch a lesson. The second thing we're going to do is open up a worksheet and uh, view our practice prompts. And then the last thing we're going to do is actually check our work. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this section off by viewing a lesson video. So I'm going to click on the blue circle there, double click on it. All right, and what you have here is our video player coming up. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. So you would watch a full lesson on number operations. Now, I'm not going to go and explain the student journal and this other icon right here. This is just um, is the icon to download this video onto a mobile device, but you definitely want to read up on how to use the student journal and all the other features in our system. But nevertheless, let's get back to the basic learning process. So you would go ahead and watch this lesson on number operations. You would pause the video, rewind it, take notes, etc. And then we're going to go ahead and now practice what we learned. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and click on this little magnifying glass icon right there. Okay, the magnifying glass icons in our system represents um, a document. Okay, so we're going to open up the worksheet document by double clicking on that particular magnifying glass. And what you're seeing is the worksheet for number operations. Okay, so if you notice, this worksheet is grouped in what in something called example sets. So this is example set A, which is the first group of problems about number operations. And then we have example set B, and these are more number operation problems, example set C, and so forth. And generally speaking, the example set A problems are the more basic, example set B a little bit more challenging, and then example set C a little bit more difficult, and so forth. So what you would want to do as a student is after watching a lesson is to go through the example set A problems. So you can either view them in your screen as we're doing right now, or you can come up here and actually print them out. It's really kind of up to you. Now after you try the problems, we're going to go through the last step of the learning process, and that is to check your work. So we're going to go over here, and we would click on the example set A solutions video. Okay, so just kind of take note of what we're looking at. See, the first problem here is what is the sum of 2 and 9? And then the second problem is what's the difference of 15 and 4? All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on this example set A solutions video. And what you're going to see, okay, you're going to see a video that you can see those problems I was just mentioning there, right? Um, what's the sum of 2 and 9? And what's the difference of 15 and 4? And so forth. And this video here is going to be going over the solutions. It's going to show you exactly step by step how to do these problems. And it's going to give you more than just a simple answer. Okay, it's going to show you techniques, uh, common mistakes that students um, often you know, mis misunderstand or confuse, uh, tips, etc. So it's important that you actually watch the video and go through the solutions um, versus just trying to look for the answer. Okay? All right, so then after you would finish example set A, or the example set A uh, video, you go back to your worksheet and do example set B, watch the associated video, and then example set Z, C, D, etc. All right, so that's how you um, learn within the sections of Tabit class. And after you're done with number operations, you would go on to the next section, which would be variables, and you would continue on all the way through the last section of the chapter, okay? 
And now at the very end of each chapter, you have some extra practice worksheets, you have some review notes, a chapter test, and a chapter test key. So this is the very, very basics of tablet class. It's actually a lot more, but this is, a, this is a hopefully at least enough for you to get familiar with the, um, the general flow, the learning flow of our system. Um, I do want to leave you with um, a reminder that there's user guides on our website. Okay, so for example, if you're a homeschooler, there's a, an extensive uh, user guide that will give you plenty of uh, more information on grades, um, testing, um, instruction routine, etc. And then the tutorial tabs. Please, please go to those as um, they'll really show you how to make the most of our system. All right, thanks for spending uh, a little bit of time with me. And uh, I'm John Zimmerman. I'm the president and founder and actually the teacher of our system. So hopefully um, you'll actually you know, spend some more time with me and learn some mathematics. Have a great day.